Hello and welcome to How Not to Play, the channel in which I play video games badly. Today we are continuing our platinum playthrough of Final Fantasy 16, including all main quests, side quests, and trophies. So without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. So about Blackthorn. Throwing himself back in the dumps. There's more demons shepping pitchforks. Alright. Um, what's going on with Blackthorn again? But this should unlock some more uh, armor for us. So yeah, let's go ahead. Hopefully it's nothing. But I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. Blacksmith Blues Part 2. Alright, buddy. What's got you down in the dumps? Blackthorn. You have a moment. Not really, no. This won't take long. I just wanted to ask how you're getting on. August was worried about you. And you might still be doubting your craft, even after learning the trick of that cuirass. Is there something else weighing on your mind? Perhaps sharing your thoughts might help. That bastard's like a dog with a bone. Still, you've got a keen eye, I'll give him that. He's just, well, Karen showed me something. Something I've never seen before. And that was? A sword. An odd-looking thing with a single-edged blade. The metal itself wasn't anything to write home about, but fuck me. The edge on it. You could slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that, and he'd be halfway home before he even realized he'd been cut. So that's what's troubling you? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Not troubling me exactly. More distracting. Can't stop thinking. How do you get an edge that sharp? It's driving me mad. And if you knew how to do it, we could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. That's about the size of it, yeah. I'll see what I can find out. Sharper swords are always welcome. And we can't have our master blacksmith being distracted. You're a soft touch, you know that. But I can't say I'm not grateful for it. Good luck, eh? Thank you. Let's see what Karen knows about this sword. Hell yeah, and why she didn't buy it for me. You're looking well, Karen. What you want? Out with it. I want to know about the sword you showed Blackthorn. Single-edged and extremely sharp. Running around after him again, are you? I suppose I am, yes. But I need to help him find out how to work an edge like that. It's driving him to distraction. Little wonder, I suppose. There's not many like that make it as far as the twins, and those that do go straight into private collections. Which made it nice and easy finding a buyer. Can you tell me who bought it? Where is it now? You think I tell people who my clients are? Suppose you're not likely to go nicking him off me, are you now? Fine. If you stop mooning at me like that. Lord Ignac's the man you want. Delmechian bloke. Collects weapons and the like. And he's got more money than sense, which is why he's one of my favorite clients. Reckon he'll still be at the inn in Dallamil, where I left him. Thank you, Karen. Oh, and he's a touch eccentric, if you take my meaning. I appreciate the warning. Wow, you are a happy pup now, aren't you? You ready to go, boy? Come on, let's go. People take notice of wealthy men. Shouldn't be too hard to track down Karen's collector. Oh, looks like they uh, got new tables. Is gone. The whole mother crystal gone. What are we gonna do? Calm yourself. We don't know for sure. The bees upstairs. My 
that reputation will be ruined. Ruined! Calm yourself, Lord Ignac, I beg of you, before you do yourself a mischief. Pardon the intrusion, but... Out! Get out! I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave me be! Please, allow me to apologize. His lordship is going through a difficult time, and he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Radim! Get rid of the filthy oath this instant! Very good, Lord Ignac. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That? No, no, no. That's just how his lordship is. Though the morning's events have left him somewhat... ...fractious. He has been dispossessed of his luggage, you see. The thieves also made away with a considerable amount of coin. Coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to collect. I don't suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single-edged sword. It was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah, you know Lady Karen. Yes, I'm afraid it was. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You are but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. Of course, you shall have your audience. I don't suppose you saw where the thieves went? I did not, no. Though some discreet inquiries made on his lordship's behalf mean that I know where you might find them. The bandit's bed. Every ill-gotten coin in Dalamal is said to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valcroy. And that's where I'm heading. I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your absence, and arrange for an audience upon your triumphant return. That will be very kind of you. Farewell, and best of luck. I don't think I'll need too much luck just for some bandits. Alright, here we are. Let's see if we can't find our bandits. Yep, these look like bandits. The dude's named the innkeeper. Uh, his little dagger as a time to take out his companion. I can always stagger him again. Or I can get it. I could stagger him again. I don't think I'm gonna gain quite my whole health bar back, but a little bit of it.
This must be Ignac's luggage. Nothing seems to be damaged. All right. Let's get it back to Delamel. I hear I have you to thank for the return of my effects. What shall I call you, my good man? Wyvern. Glad to make your acquaintance. A formidable name indeed. Well, Wyvern, I appear to be in your debt. Redeem here tells me you wished for an audience. Is that all? A few moments of your time should suffice, yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. All right, speak. A master Wyvern was wondering if you could tell him about a certain single-edged sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my hands on that sword. It was made in the Outer Isles, far beyond the Twins, and is used exclusively by the practitioners of a unique school of swordsmanship. They believe no combat should ever exceed a single strike and hone their blades to such perfection that none ever does. Each sword is made for that one perfect stroke, and for that stroke only. They crack upon a second blow. There's a brutal sort of beauty to it, really. But how do they hone such an edge? <laughs> Fine question. Why, they use a whetstone, of course. Whetstones, rather. A whole array of them, ranging from the coarse to the fine. Ten thousand licks with the sharpening stone, then ten thousand more. But it is the final stone which lends the blade its legendary sharpness. A mineral quite foreign to this great realm of ours. And that is the key. The secret ingredient. Wyvern, it occurs to me that my little lecture is hardly equal to services rendered. Take this, together with my regards. The very stone of which I spoke, far rarer among collectors than even the blade itself. And a far more fitting payment. Thank you. Pardon the intrusion, my lordship. However, it is long past time we prepared ourselves to depart. So it is. I am locked in bitter competition with a rival collector of curiosities. I am one step ahead of the unscrupulous scoundrel, but he is hard at my heels. And there are many other collectors out there. Too many to count, but only one do I consider my nemesis. Lord Byron Rosfield. And is a perennial thorn in my side. <laughs> I can imagine. Farewell, Wyvern. May our paths cross again. Radim, we mustn't dawdle. I think his lordship is rather taken with you, Master Wyvern. Thank you again for your assistance. Coming, my lordship. I'll be right there. I wonder why you used that name and not Sid. Trust Uncle Byron to find such an interesting rival. Now, let's see what Blackthorn makes of this whetstone, shall we? Aye, that's the true prize. So yeah, let's go ahead and take that whetstone back onto Blackthorn. And see if he doesn't uh, give us a new blade. Sorry for the wait. But hopefully you'll agree it was worth it. You learned something about that sword then? I did better than that. find anywhere in Valestia. No 
wonder I couldn't get the same finish on the grinding wheel. <laughs> One hit and all done, eh? Might not be so bad if all you ever fought were duels. <sighs> good luck on the battlefield. Your second opponent would be your last, no matter how good you were. Even so, is there some way it could be used to give the Curse Breakers an edge? I think so, yeah. With this whetstone and the right kind of steel, I could probably even make a twin of the blade that rattled me. But there'd be no replacing this little rock once I worn it down to a sliver. I reckon we get a dozen swords from it, if that. Swords that the Curse Breakers wouldn't know how to wield, probably. And that would see them through a single fire piece. Nah. No point trying to copy that thing. Be about as much use as a wax anvil. But finishing our blades with a whetstone this fine. Now that's something to consider. And what's finer than fallen masonry, eh? Or more hard wearing for that matter. Just imagine it. Good Valisthean steel with an edge as sharp as any found in the Outer Isles. I won't make a copy, nah. I'll make something much better. I'm sure the Curse Breakers will be delighted. Just... don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> don't you worry about me, Sunshine. I'll be working day and night since I was half your age. And I'll still be here when you're long gone. Hey. Thanks, Clive. I mean it. I owe you one. August 2. It's good to know someone's looking out for me. You'll be happy to hear you said that. And I'll see that my debt to you's paid. First new blade I make's got your name on it. You come and find me when you've got the materials. All right. I will. For Excalibur? Oh, hell. We have unlocked the recipe for Excalibur. So what is what the recipe for Excalibur? So what it be? Uh, I've actually got the Grimalkin hide already. I just need a bomb ember, which I can find on the hunt board at some point. Awesome. Oh, and since we've got that gelatinous mass, we now have all the materials. Oh, it was a Scarletite I was missing. With that Scarletite, we can now make the Drake Slayer bracelets. Yes. No scratches, right? Oh yeah, we'll equip that right now. I don't suppose either of those can be reinforced, can they? Nah. That it? Fine. Yep, that was more than helpful, Blackthorn. Oh, actually, let's go out this way. Because I do believe Mid had uh, something to do before we head out to Sid's grave. And whatever she's got is going to unlock something else in the base. Oh, well, not mid. That's it then. I'm here. Sid, reckon you might be just the man to help me out with a bit of bother, if you've a mind to. Let's hear it. Well, it's about this alembic the chief's got me making. Lovely bit of kit it is. Bung in a solution you want split in. And it will separate it out, just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough. Which is why I've been looking for something to filter the liquid we'll be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out. I imagine Ty could get some use out of this Alembic too. Distilling medicines and the like. All right. Why not? Proper job! So what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do, says the chief. Gave me a sample she'd obtained from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. So... 
I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get hold of some. And do you know what I found out? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die, see? I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. I, I, I saw a billet on the hunt board for one just the other day. Would have gone myself, but, well, fighting dirty great balls of flame isn't exactly my forte. You, on the other hand... All right. I'll see what I can do. Thank you kindly. And, and a good hunting, eh? I thought we cleared out the hunt board. Uh, Nectar, you holding out on me, buddy? All right. Sure enough, the little Moogle's got a icon over his pom pom. Have there been any bomb sightings? Uh, sure enough, we had one add in the Bomb King in the Croc in Sombrek. All right, well, I guess we know where to go. Although while we're here, we have gathered a whole lot of reputation lately, so let's go ahead and check in with Desiree at the Patron's Whisper. Ah, oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Is everything we've received and everything promised? And we can get two meteorites from the Bearer's Plight. From our friends in Northreach. Here you are. I can definitely put those to good use. 715 is my next one. Which we might not get to here pretty soon. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, Sandbreck it was, right? Alright. Well, the only area in Sandbreck that I haven't really been able to look at is the Imperial Chase here. So let's see if it might be there. I don't see it anywhere else. And sure enough, here in the Imperial Chase, there is a location named The Croc. So that's where we're going to find our King Bomb, I suppose. Looks like an old ruin. Oh, he's already dead. Oh god, maybe not. Oh, he's even got a little crown on his head. I have no idea how these, these fires are damaging him, though. But hey, whatever. Apparently nothing is elemental in this game. Oh, he doesn't have a stagger bar. I just realized that. Oh, Jesus. Wow. He just copies himself. Get him. This one. 
Whew. That was a little rough. Those copies can pack a punch. But you got a good area attack when they do that. Um, like the, the slam attacks on either the Earth or Thunder runs that will kind of take care of a lot of them at once. But we did get our Bomb Ember. Did we need that for something? Your reign is over. Now to collect the ash. I should... Uh, this looks like the stuff. Let's see if there's any more. Oh, yeah. All right, we got the Bomb King Ash. The wine needs more than this. He can fetch it himself. Yeah, I agree. That was pretty rough. And I had to, like, use potions and stuff. All right, buddy. I got the Ashphere filters. All right there, Sid. How's that hunt for the bomb ash going? I have it here. That's the stuff. And plenty of it, too. Enough to keep the Olympic bubbling away for a good old while. You're a gent, Sid. Let nothing say otherwise. Right then, let's get this contraption up and running. Telemon Malembic. And it works just like the Chief said it would. <sighs> Very impressive. <laughs> Says the man who cut down a burning boulder. Speaking of which, I still haven't returned a favor. There's no need. The good it will do for the hideaway is reward enough. Don't be silly. Why don't you let me take a look at that bag of yours? The one you keep your potions in. Reckon I could work some magic on that, huh? What kind of magic? Well, we happen to have isolated a substance in our test run of the Alembic that I reckon will make even the toughest lever supple as anything. Thought we might use it to breathe new life into old boots and the like. Save the hideaway a few, Gil. But I reckon if we slap a bit on your bag, it'll loosen it up enough for you to squeeze in a bottle or two more. Well, it can't hurt to try, I suppose. That's the spirit. Leave it with me. I'll only be a mo. All right. Well, what do you reckon? It certainly feels more of flexible right told you thank you i think no no thank you for supporting mid and the rest of us in our endeavors without you we'd never have been able to discover wonders like that stuff i rubbed on your bag and i'm telling you there's plenty more where that came from dude you can rub my bag anytime i mean my potion bag because yeah i'll take more potions absolutely inventory increased very nice oh wow two more potions one additional high potion and one additional tonic very nice well let's go stock back up since I just yeah all right and I guess we did get enough reputation off of that to uh, unlock welcome to the patrons whisper your benefactors are a generous lot. a light from the heavens high clerics medallion all yours 
which increases the healing potency of high potions. All right. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, more for ya. All right, Otto. Uh, let's uh, collect mid and head on over to Sid's grave. All right, Clive. Astrid. Mid finished sending half the hideaway troops in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl would do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She... did, yes. Clive. Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. I might still be able to catch her. Yep. I I was right. Wait, maybe? Oh, the bolt bin. Obelith, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat. Going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for ya. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Oberleth. Don't mention it. What uh -oh. uncle? My dear boy, my journey to Canva has been a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of their strong box, but also their considerable knowledge of the goings on in the free cities, by which I learned of the endeavors of a certain young friend of yours. Though I, for one, believe Miss Telemann's project to be quite the valiant enterprise, I doubt the Canvarian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorized use of their dockyards, no matter how deserted. And if rumor has already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guildmasters are rapping at our door. Which is why I pen you this note. I would like to borrow your man Gav for a moon or two, that he might keep watch on those who might mean our fellowship ill. And warn us of any impending attacks. I trust that you will give this proposal your full consideration your loving uncle, Byron. Troubling Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure to give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Ooh, going back to the old hideaway. 
which is now renamed Sid's Legacy. All right, sure, let's go. the phoenix can't be in two places at once if it had been with us maybe he could have done something for the lost not even the phoenix can bring people back from the dead life has a beginning and an end so we must live while we have the chance As slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blind march is on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Good. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> none. Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Bocklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants oh, Guild. Just show them Goots's traders pass, and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. 
Oh, okay then. I'll get me things and I'll meet you there. See you down in Bucklad. Get off me poor fingers. <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav. Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? You see that, Sid? Your protege's making a proper little outlaw of himself. Alright. So this is our first, well, I guess it's not our first time in Delmechia because uh, those were all Delmechia too, technically. But now we are on our way to the Crystalline Dominion. But yeah, with only two crystals left to break. Uh, wow, I didn't think our story was really going quite that fast, but yeah, we're at least by crystal count. Uh, 60% done. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more installments, which you can see in the playlist linked here on the left, along with some of the additional content that I do on this channel. Uh, thank you for your support, and I'll see you in the next video.